there's a difference between owning a home with no homeowner's dues and owning a condo or townhome where it has substantial homeowner's dues, let's say $300 a month. So when you're looking at the single family home, there's gonna be costs associated with you owning this home. How long is this home gonna last before I have to start replacing things? How much longer is the roof gonna last? How much longer can I go without painting it? Is uh, the yard okay? Are there things that I'm gonna to have to spend money on? But there's also gonna be utility bills, right? There's gonna be water, there's gonna be sewer, there's gonna be uh, power, garbage. You're gonna to have to cover all that stuff yourself. So what is the average bill you're gonna pay a month for? The same things that your homeowner's dues are gonna cover. Typically, dues we're gonna cover things like water and sewer, um, they might cover things like exterior maintenance, your roof, the, the grounds, the grass, and things like that. When you're dealing with a condo, they figure out how long is the roof gonna last? Okay, we're gonna need this much money, so it's gonna cost you this much money a month. That's why your dues are what they are. It's not because this money goes to some fund in the sky. Really, it goes into a fund for the homeowner association. And when you need it, you can pull it out and get the work done that you need to get done. Everyone has a different way they want to live. For some people, it's a house. For some people, it's a condo. And that's something that we would really need to discuss. Figure out what your lifestyle is like.